In this video, I am going to show you how you can show a different header when scrolling in Elementor. So you can see over here that this is a transparent header over here right now. So this is the logo and this is the navigation menu over here. Okay. And when I scroll down, a new header appears which has got a white background and the, you can see that the logo is different and the navigation uh, is also uh, the navigation the text color of navigation is also uh, black so it's visible against the white background so it's a you can see that it's completely new header which appears when you are scrolling so this is the transparent header and this is the header which appears when you're scrolling so this is very useful uh, because uh, if you just if the transparent header is sticky then it's not going to help much because when it's going to st uh, scroll over the items over here then it's it's not it's not going to look nice okay so this is what i'm going to show you like how you are going to achieve this how you are going to do this uh, using elementor pro so what i'm going to show now is uh, using elementor pro you need the pro version of elementor if you do not have the elementor pro installed on your website then i am providing the link down in the description below uh, from where you can uh, purchase elementor pro and activate on your site okay so now i'm going to start absolutely from scratch uh, so you can see all of my steps which i'm going to use okay so this is the header over here so i'm going to exit exit out of this header okay so i'll just go to the theme builder and header so this is the this one i am calling a different header so what i'm going to do i'm going to just delete this yes i'm going to delete this and start from uh, scratch so when i refresh the page you see that uh, the default header which appears which i have on my main website okay and so now what i'm going to do i'm going to this under theme builder element theme builder i'm going to add a new header okay also for now i'm going to just not use any one of these okay so you can see firstly that this is a white background over here okay and uh, firstly i'm going to make the transparent header then i'm going to show you uh, step by step how you can implement the sticky header which appears on scroll so i'm going to add this new section i'm going to add a two column layout over here and okay so firstly uh, which are what i'm going to do i'm going to add a new section over here okay and i'm going to add a minimum height to this section of 70 pixels okay and then i'm going to add Mm. so i will have two images over here so i'm going to use the image over here so two different images so instead of using the site logo i'm just going to use the image so this is my uh, this is my white logo which i'm going to use right now and i'm going to set a specific width to it so i'm going to go to width and under percentage i'm going to choose pixel i'm going to set 120 pixel so now you cannot see anything but uh, soon you will uh, because this is a uh, white against white so you are not seeing anything so after setting a width of 120 pixel to the logo i'm going to align it left and then what i'm going to do i'm going to add this nav menu item to over here okay fine and then what i'm going to do i'm going to set the column which contains the logo width column width to 30 and this is by default will be set to 70 let me align this to the right side okay then i am going to uh, set the text color to white f f f great and then i am going to choose this section okay f f f then i am going to play, choose this section over here and under margin i am going to set the margin to 
minus 70 pixels so it is going to pull the contents up okay the contents of the page up so it covers the overlaps the content you see that this is the minus 70 uh, pixel uh, bottom margin which i'm adding is also same to the minimum height of the section which i've added okay then i'm going to click on publish add condition so for now i'm going to uh, show it only on this page over here because uh, I am not I don't want to show this on my entire website so I'm all only going to show on this page so I'm going to add a condition sorry not so instead of entire side I'm going to choose singular and from singular I'm going to choose pages and from pages I'm going to choose this page write down type the different header page okay then I'm going to publish and see how it looks the transparent header okay so you can see that it looks like this over here but uh, the image over here is not appearing so let's fix it so this is my image so what i'm going to do i'm going to just apply z index of 50 pixels and also let's link it so uh, whenever you click a logo it usually like takes you to the front page of the website so let's link it custom url and then under dynamic tense simply choose the site url okay so this will just uh, whenever you click it it's going to take you to the main website so i'm going to refresh this page again okay so you see the now the logo appears perfectly no issues at all the navigation menu also works fine and when you click hover over it you see that it's uh, it's linking to the front page of the website okay that's how a logo is supposed to act like okay and then what i'm going to do now i'm going to implement the different header uh, on scroll okay so to implement that i need to uh, firstly i need to remove this bottom uh, margin temporarily okay so i'll remove this fine and then i'm going to duplicate this okay duplicate this and under navigator to avoid any confusion so let's name so the the top one we're going to call it header one and the bottom section we're going to call it header two okay great so for the header one this is the section header one we're going to add a class to it called header dash one and for the bottom header header two we are also going to add a class name to it header 2 great so now i'm going to update it fine okay so this is the bottom header which is which will be white so let's work on it uh, let's give it a white solid white background currently it is transparent background so let's give it a white background fff then let's change the logo to another logo okay and also now let's remove the bottom uh, sorry z index from this bottom logo over here which are using and now also let's change the navigation color the text color of the navigation to something dark like this right okay done and now what i'm going to do i'm going to click over here so uh, firstly now let, let's see how it looks like currently on the front page okay let's reload it and check it out how it looks so uh, you can see the transparent header sits on top of this white header you see there is the header over here transparent header and the white logo you cannot see the logo because uh, it is like kind of invisible uh, against the white background okay so now i'm going to click over here i'm going to add a z mar, uh, z index to it of 100 okay save and then i'm going to uh, so this is very important adding a z mar, z index to this top one okay so make sure to follow every other step so i'm going to re-add the bottom margin of 70 pixels 70 okay great 
So, you see that now the bottom header is not accessible simply just click on the uh, navigation over here and then click on header 2 and also add a bottom 70 pixel margin to it ok. See, great. So, now it covers up ok. So, now you see that uh, you cannot see the header header 2 the white header ok. Now, let us go back to our uh, this over here and over header 2 click over here on the header 2 and uh, under motion effects for, for the sticky one choose top ok. Uh, uh, for on under here sticky on desktop tablet mobile if you want sticky on three of these devices then it is fine just keep it sticky on three of the devices no problem ok. So, and then what you need to add is 200 pixels. So, under effects offset you will need to add 200 ok 200 because so that the header will the sticky, uh, sticky effect will not uh, uh, go into effect until you have scrolled down. Uh, up to 200 pixels. So, this is what it means uh, fx offset. So, when you scroll down 200 pixel then the sticky header header 2 will appear ok, but for now let us see ok. So, do not worry about this right now if it looks weird do not worry we are going to fix it. So, this is how it looks right now. So, then what you need to do then you need to come over here ok. So, then you need to simply copy this code over here and paste it copy this code and I am going to provide this code down in the description below. So, make sure you check over there ok. So, copy whenever I paste it, it is going to be fine ok. So, under here uh, go to settings and advanced and over here custom CSS paste it ok. Now, let us see how it looks ok. See now it uh, now it is fine. So, now when you scroll down you see it perfectly appears right and stays sticky on top and when you scroll to the top it disappears it just scrolls up. So, this is how easily you can use a different header when scrolling ok. So, I hope you have found this video useful and you have found this video useful then please, please, please make sure to like this video and also please subscribe to my channel. So, my channel this will help my channel grow and thank you and uh